All right, all right. Coming back once again. Hope everybody's still doing well. Title of this video, I do it for the kids. I do it for the kids. You know, it's a lot of kids hurting right now. It's a lot of kids, children going through so much. And how children didn't even ask to be here. But the way people do their own kids. The way people are blocking out the children, period. And another reason why I do what I do is because I do it for the kids. And as I go around and deliver, y'all know how, you know, deliver the food, working with the food bank or whatever. And I was telling y'all how I meet so many people and run into so many people that are struggling and have been laid off, you know, poor people. Children are really hurting. And I know that we all know somebody that's pretty much in need. And when I can look into a child's eyes and see the hurt on them, when I can feel their pain, most of these children, we already know, don't have daddy at home. And how they crying out for help or how they got so much to talk about to tell somebody how their day went and nobody seemed like they want to hear them. And how the streets are getting so many young men. So many young men and so many young women are turning the wrong way looking for love in all the wrong places. And if you know somebody, if you know a child, it's just encouragement, people. Even if you can do something to just lift their day up. Because we don't understand, even with grown people, just speaking to somebody lifts up their day. Just letting somebody know that you curl, just dropping a loaf of bread off over somebody's house can brighten up their day. And this is why I love to help people so much also because when I roll around, I see so much. And if you came out of the hood, then you definitely know what I'm talking about. We can make a difference, but I do it for the children because there are some houses I can go over. Y'all just feel me in this video. They got crack parents. Their parents don't even care about that their child haven't had nothing to eat. Their children haven't had nothing to eat. And they're not doing nothing to even go try to get them something to eat. Their only concern is they fix. They waiting on their necks. Dope. They drugs. And that this child is sitting here starving. And how so many children have been born into this world as a crack baby. It ain't the children's fault. They didn't even ask to be here. Now they are here and... Look like most people are turning their back on the, on the child. And I know a lot of men will say, well, that's somebody else's mistake. I don't have kids of my own, but I am a father. I am a father to so many children, especially when I go to church. And even in, in, in these neighborhoods and poorest places you can go around, I'm pretty much the only male figure that most of these children are going to see. And when you look in their eyes and see they hurt, some of the young girls, they always want to run, jump on you. I don't know what it is about young girls. They love that male figure because they miss out on that in their life. They expect so much out of us men. And I don't look at children as a mistake. See, this is part two of my old video I did. And I said give a great shout out to a lot of men who are taking in another man's child. I feel you. Because I always say that we are children of God, and what if God would turn his back on his children? I don't know about y'all, but I'm a child of God, and I'm glad I don't look at God as a baby daddy or sperm donor or, or somebody who just, you know, didn't want nothing to do with me. No, God never left me. Some people meet, I'll tell you all the time, a lot of people want to use God for all the wrong reasons. What if God looked at us like some of these baby daddies do? Walk out on their family. Or like some of these baby mamas do. Acting all ignorant and acting a fool. And not even caring about your own child. Do these children feelings even matter to you? Some of these children ain't had nothing to eat all day. And I always keep me a little football or basketball in, in the back of the truck or in the inside of the truck. Because just playing catch, throwing the ball back and forth with a young man that made his day. Why? Because he haven't had no fun all day. 
He haven't had no fun all day. He been crapped up in the house with some parents that don't even care about him. This is why I do it for the children. Now, some of y'all might say, well, I wouldn't help them people. Them people ain't going to do nothing, but if you give them something, they ain't going to do nothing but give it away. Well, I make sure that it goes to the child. I get past grown folks' ignorance, and I do it for the children. Those children need shoes on their feet. They need clothes to wear. Forget about what their parents doing and ain't doing. I got to make up in my mind and say, you know what? They need help. They need help. This is why it's all so hard to date a woman with kids. Let me say it like this. When you get attached to the children and it don't work out with the mama, it's a hurt child in the middle regardless. You know, I told y'all a while back about the woman I used to date and how y'all know I love kids. I don't have none of my own, but like I say, I am a child to, I mean a father to so many children in so many ways because I bring the groceries in to them. I try to bring the clothes to them. I try to spend time to them. That's what a father do. I try to make sure that they don't, they not, they, they not hurting for nothing. That's what a father's supposed to do. And I don't have to be that father to that child to do something for that child or to be a big brother to this young brother over here that don't have nobody. The streets is getting them, people. They can't find love in their own home and God bless these single moms that are struggling, trying to do things the right way. I know it's this side of the story and that side of the story, but then the truth lies somewhere in the middle. These children didn't ask to be here. So why are they being punished so much behind grown folks and they stupid, ignorant ways? I do it for the children. I got a little partner on my street. I call him my little partner because he don't have nobody. And he always rides up and down the street on his, on his little bike. And when I see him riding, I always stop. Now he's a part of me because he comes over all the time and he is so respectful. He says, how you doing, sir? I don't want to bother you, sir, but my bike is on flat again, sir. Can, can you help me once again? I don't have nobody to help me. And he don't have no water on at the house, and I know he'd be hungry. I say, let's go get something to eat. What else do you need? Here go a few dollars put in your pocket. Go to the store and buy yourself something. Because I remember how, as a kid, how it was so much fun just to have $3 in your pocket and go to the store and buy your favorite candy. That brightens up that little man's day. We went back in the backyard one day and I said, paint my truck for me. I let him spray paint my truck. And to see the joy, the smile on his, on his face lit up my day. And I thought about how many children can't have no fun at all. I do it for the children. Breaks my heart to see so many of these jacked up churches kicking these kids out because they won't let them praise dance. They won't let them do their mind dance. So what do you do? You throw them pretty much to the streets. Then you want to criticize them when they dancing for the world because they wanted to do a simple old praise dance for the church. But yet the church turned their back on them and sent them pretty much to the streets. Or now you're mad because they doing, they, they rapping, and they, they wanted to do gospel rap, but you kicked them out of the church. You better be careful how you do, people. And God is taking note on who's doing wrong, who's messing up these children's life. So that's why I want to say in this video, I do it for the children. Though you might know, you might know some little child that need help. Forget about what their parents ain't doing. Help them. I ain't saying you got to spend a whole lot of money and all Let me say one thing about this, people. Because as I said before, when I, my, my last, uh, my last relationship pretty much, that daughter was my daughter. Her daughter was my daughter. And the relationship that we had, and to this day, I still think about that girl. It didn't work out with me and her mother. Because mama wanted to do what mama wanted to do. And me and mama had disagreements, so mama had to go her way. And JT had to go his way. But at the same time, I thought about that little child. Because the time that I spent with her. She always wanted to come over. And what hurt me so hard was she looked me dead in my eyes. And she said, I wish you was my daddy. I wish you was my daddy. That messed you up, fellas. 
That'll mess you up hard. I wish you was my daddy. I already don't have a relationship with a real father, but she said, I wish you was my daddy. When can I come over again? Next time I come over, I want you to show me the keyboard. I want you to show me how to play the guitar. I want you to let me play your drums. I just want to come over because I love spending time with you. You, I wish you was my daddy. And then you got to look that child in the eye and try to explain to them what's going on. It hurts. It hurts very hard. This is why it's hard to date with children. And finding somebody without children like this growing on trees. No. And see, one thing about me being a man of God, I have to do things God's way. And if you don't want to do things God's way, I don't have no business messing with you. These children are hurting. I hate when I look at them in their eyes and they look back at me with that sad look and say, I'm so hungry. Oh, I don't have a jacket to wear. My shoes got holes in them. People at school laughing at me. You wonder where all this money is going and why this, why, oh man, this is why I failed Pastor Dow in this video when he was talking about America, the government, and all this stuff. We got so many people right here, right here, right here, hurting. So many children starving right here. That's why I say it's not the kid's fault. That's why I don't never look at a child as a mistake. I look at a child as a blessing. And I bet my sister I Rock can really feel this video because sister I Rock is always dealing with kids, being around the children as, as the school teacher, and, and your heart goes out to these children. And sometimes you want to look at their parents and just slap the hell out of them for their ignorance. Taking up for, for, for the kids when they're doing wrong, knowing they're doing wrong, and all of this stuff. No discipline at home. I found out, you know what, these kids are not all that bad. They just want somebody to feel them, spend time with them, love them, show compassion on them. It's a whole lot of that lacking nowadays. I sit down and I really listen at a child, pull their heart out. Because I have some children that will tell me stuff they won't even tell their own mama. And you know what, I keep it shut. Mama too busy to listen. Daddy not even around. Church folks done kicked them to the curb. So who else do they have to listen to? That's why when I'm in these hoods or wherever I'm at, I see a young man, they, they start talking to me. I tell them what's real. And you know what? Some of them listen. See, everybody on the corner ain't all that bad like you think they are. Some of these young men, and I know it's not an excuse to get on the block, but some of these men are on the corner because they don't have nobody to take care of them. Daddy been locked up in prison or dead from shot up on the streets. Mama is walking around hoeing. So who going to raise that child? That child start raising themselves. I'm going to tell you something. It's, it's some intelligent dope dealers on the block. I'm talking about young age. And some of them I talk to, man, it don't matter where I'm at. You know what, JT, I wouldn't be doing this if if I had my mama. Dude, the other day told me if my mama was just still around. Mama, mama overdosed on drugs, so now he's selling drugs. He said, but I don't see no other way. I went to the church, and the church didn't want to help me. The pastor didn't reach out to me, but the streets did. I had I had an old partner on the street that put me in the game, and now I'm on the, I'm on the corner. I, I got to get off of this block, JT. Tell me something. Give me some words of encouragement because I don't see a better way. I'm just trying to put some food in my mouth and my daughter's mouth. I don't want to be on this block, but ain't nobody else trying to help me. You know what I do? Not condemn them. Tell them about God. But you know what? At the same time, it's hard to tell somebody about God when all they know is dope. All they know is struggling. All they know is growing up in a rough neighborhood. They don't want to hear that about God a lot. So I work my way into a conversation and then start talking about, about the Lord. And I ain't throwing scriptures at them. I do it for the children. I do it for the children. I don't have to know them. That's what I loved about when we was young. You didn't have to be the, the, the father to discipline somebody's child. Papa JT did that for the love of the children and the love of God. The streets are getting them. What are you going to do to help? God bless you and God keep you. I do it for the children. Peace.